sun rising on Sunday, April 26th. We're leaving Ponce de Leon Bay near the mouth of the Shark River out in the middle of Everglades Park, National Everglades Park. This was our anchorage overnight back there. Pretty good, a little bit rocky a couple of times. Not bad at all. Day two of traveling in the Gulf of Mexico. Everglade National Park. And we're headed to Everglade City. Leon Bay. And that's the bay that we just left over there. And then out here is all the water that you can take. And your captain. Look, Mom, no hands. Yeah, look what he's driving with. That's what I have to deal with. You could not have to deal with it. You could drive, and I can fish. Or I can drive and fish. Made it to Indian Key Pass. We're in, the, anywhere out in here. we're in the Everglades, and I probably should get off. I thought I was not needed for a little bit. Anyways, in the Everglades, a thousand islands in this area, and the rain is starting. We just made it right before. So let me get off and get help Mark get this anchored, and then I'll come back. Anchoring early today with inclement weather coming and because we traveled such a long day yesterday, I'm going to bed. <laughs> Time for a nap. Anyways, this is our surroundings. A bunch of little islands. Over here some more. Here I'm on the inside, so now you can hear me maybe. <laughs> uh, but I didn't video. We were um, greeted by the police as we entered or had just dropped our anchor in here. And they were just checking out our intentions. And they pretty much, yeah, <laughs> pretty much checked out our boat and then said we're good to go. I guess we could stay anchored in here for 14 days if we wanted to. And then they said in cases of inclement weather, there's exceptions for it to be longer. So anyway, this is what we're up to today. This is our day, rain. Clouds and rain, and Mark sleeping. Check out. What a gloomy day. Which direction are they? Coming this way.
waiting on the dolphin. <laughs> Story of my life. And I didn't even have him in the picture because he came up over there and I had it pointed behind. There, a little bit of them. Let's see, I'll switch over here. That's pretty out there. We're not gonna get a sunset. But that is the Gulf of Mexico on the other side, right out there. The clouds look pretty cool. And these are the islands, 10,000 islands. Earlier I said 1,000. I misspoke. It's 10,000 islands. And the dolphin have disappeared once again. Good morning, Monday, April 27th. We're getting ready to leave our anchorage for today, for the night, from the night. <laughs> and uh, we are heading somewhere north. If the weather stays good and we feel like traveling, we're gonna try for Fort Myers. And if for some reason weather gets bad, we'll hop in at Marco Island. So we'll keep you posted. Have a good one. We woke up this morning and came outside and we were covered in these bugs. <laughs> this is our pest control. Mark and his hat. Anyways, there were lots, lots and lots of them. More of our sunrise and our Everglades where we spent the night. Today is supposed to be one to two foot seas. And the key words are supposed to be. Leaving the 10,000 islands at Everglades. Thinks I need to be videoing this. I can't even stand up. Yeah. <laughs> I can't stand. Ah. Oh, shoot. Be prepared to get dizzy. Warning. You the Facebook live. You the Facebook live Warning. Get you might get dizzy. Can you get Facebook live? Getting close to Marco Island. And this video may make you a little dizzy. Just a warning. The seas are 
rocking and rolling. And I'm trying to keep this behind so I don't get splashed. Woo! That one came up over the boat. <laughs> anyway, I don't know where this is pointed right now. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> Wash that bug off. Ah. Yeah, so close to Marco Island and we've had lots of waves up over the boat, so I'll give you the view out the back of the boat. You can see the dinghy going up and down over the waves. That way you've got clearer picture. But if you get seasick, you might not want to watch. <laughs> Captain. Traveling about seven mile an hour. Yep. Here give you a side view. Marco Island at the outer edge. I'm smelling it strong right now. When you're almost to where you're going and you smell something hot. Not good. Coming in the pass of Marco Island, just a short, quick view. Off the boat. <laughs> I got Here. my my pack mule <laughs> walking with his margarita. You give him margarita, he'll drag the cart for you. <laughs> we did um, take out Mexican, and the place was called Margaritas. And they have good margaritas, right? I had to get a double. <laughs> And we're on our way back to the boat with groceries. I'm tired. <laughs> All right. Just thought you could <laughs> see Mark drinking his margar margarita. <laughs> we are at Rose Marina in Marco Island, Florida. And we're spending the night here. We got Mark a new phone today. Uh, we got some provisions for the boat. And we even ate out, take out Mexican and had some really good margaritas to go, to go margaritas. <laughs> so that is where we are for tonight. And tomorrow, weather permitting, we'll be headed to Sanibel Island. That's our day. Here at Rose Marina, Marco Island. And the sun just went down. 
Mark's trying to load the programs onto his new phone. And I am walking back to the boat to plug my phone in because it is like 20%. <laughs> so anyway, back over there, a little bit of the sky. And I'm heading to the boat. Whoop. <laughs> gonna walk the wrong direction better pay attention so here is a pirate boat black pearl over here is a big law enforcement boat Mark and I both said we've never seen one that big before. And then, got some other nice boats, a big nice yacht called Kentucky Bell coming up here. A duck, a no, not a duck. That is one I don't know if you can see it. One annoying bird right there. It's been f flitting back and forth between the boats right along here. And it is noisy. Anyway. It's a beautiful evening. Switching directions so you can see the beautiful water and the boats out here. <laughs> Another bird, an egret, and that noisy bird back over here somewhere. And oh, he might be on our boat. It's coming from this direction. Anyways, here's Liberty in the slip for the evening. We rinsed the salt off, but it's still quite dirty need to give it a good cleaning when we reach Destin. One more spin around. And then heading in the boat. That boat down there has a loud um, oh, windmill generator. It makes a lot of noise. All right, the end of Monday, good evening.